Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Welcome to another lesson. This is lesson two. As you can tell, we are in a little bit of a different background. And that's because in this lesson, we're going to be a little bit more hands on. So I'm going to be jumping in my computer, showing you a few examples in building a website right in front of you, showing the strategies that I use to uh, help me build my website. Now, Keep in mind, this is not a tutorial. I'm not going to show you every little bit about the Cheetah Builder. I expect you guys to know a little bit about the Cheetah Builder before watching this. So please, if you have any questions, make sure to watch some of the tutorials and some of the trainings uh, that we have in Builder All for the Cheetah Builder. Well, that being said, let's jump into my computer. You should see everything that I see. Now, these are some of the websites that I have built on Cheetah, and these are some of the websites that I have done in the Pixel Perfect, right? The drag and drop Pixel Perfect. So as you can see, I have done lots and lots of websites. I have, I would say, a pretty good knowledge of how to work with websites. I want to show you guys a few examples. Now, this one is in Portuguese, so please don't mind it. Just look at the design. This is the Young Entrepreneurs website in Brazil. I couldn't find it in English, so I just found it in Portuguese. This is a website that I built to sell an opportunity for schools in Brazil. Look how clean. Look how crisp and look how everything's congruent there isn't much colors out there all the colors match everything is in the color palette it just it just looks amazing now whenever you're choosing colors for your website you got to choose the colors that stand out with your background so look how the green stands out with the sort of black or sort of grayish look you see how it stands out it just looks really good and you see how we don't have that many effects we have an effect here in the bottom of the website and that is enough for your website to look professional. Anyways, let me give you another example. This is a website that I did for our agency program. Like I said, look how good it just everything stands out. Look how clean, look how modern. It's so modern and so clean. It just really looks professional. There isn't one billion effects. There isn't a billion colors. The colors that you see are the green, the black and the white. It just looks really, really clean. It just looks really good. You don't need to choose hundreds of different colors. Now I could be showing you a bunch of different websites, but we would just be wasting time. Now the website that I'm going to build for you guys today is the same website that you see over here. This is a website that I did for my Facebook ads course. Now this website, in my opinion, it looks really good for many reasons. One, the first banner, the first panel really grabs your attention because of two things. One, it's the blue in the background. It's not a flat blue. It's a blue mixed with a few objects, a little bit of purple, and it just really gives space for the video, for the thumbnail to stand out. And the thumbnail, the reason it stands out so much is because of this color right here. This is a sort of red color and it just stands out with the blue. And that's what you got to work on when building your website. You have to choose the colors that stand out with each other. If we were to choose a blue thumbnail, it would just look sort of dead because it wouldn't stand out with the background. If we keep scrolling through the website, you can see fast and straight to the point. These are the lessons. So whenever you're building a website, you always want to talk about what you get with your product or your services. In this case, uh, with this course, these are the lessons that you get. Over here, a call to action. This is a typical design strategy to represent your digital product in sort of a physical way. This way, people can actually imagine what your product looks like. Why? Because I, I think that people sort of like physical stuff. When they see a physical image of your product, they tend to like it more. You can get any designer, you can go to Fiverr, you can go to so many different places and people will do this for five or 10 bucks. You can actually do it yourself with a few of the tools that we have in Builder All, but we'll talk more about that later on. Now, as we scroll through the website, uh, talk a little bit about myself. Uh, I let them know why I think I am qualified to teach them about Facebook ads. I am the Builder All Marketing Media Director. I work with Facebook ads. I'm a specialist. I've done Instagram marketing. I'm a specialist at a sales funnel. Now you don't need to put your whole life story. Just make it quick, just make it simple. Again, another call to action, but this time with the price. In here, they can see a lot of social proof. They can see what people, what my students uh, were saying about my course. Now these are real testimonials from real people that have done my course. Um, so I put the testimonials here to just show that it's something real and to show that it's a good quality course. And again, one more call to action. And if they click on it, they go to the checkout page. And after the checkout page, 
they go to the thank you page. I'm going to show you the thank you page real quick. This is the thank you page. Thank you for the purchase. Uh, if they click here, they go to the members area. Now, the reason I was showing you what we're going to be doing before is because I want you to know that I have in mind what I'm building. Okay, I have a sort of blueprint ready. Now, whenever you guys are building websites for your clients, it's always better for you to do a makeover. Why? Because it's easier. You have all the all the stuff ready. You have all the images ready. You have the text ready. So if you can, if it's possible, just get all the images, get all the colors, get all the banners, everything that you can ready before building the website because it just makes it easier. The process will be so much faster. Now I have all the images, I have all the icons. I have literally everything done. So you're going to see this process really, really quickly. Now I recommend not getting images from Google. If you build your blueprint, if you choose your colors, ask a designer, get somebody on Fiverr. It's, it'll be like 10, 15 bucks for them to do your images. The reason I'm telling you this again is because it just makes the process so much easier. We're going to name this a Facebook ads tutorial blank next. If we scroll down, it's over here with the unpublished. We'll click edit. We have a home. We'll create the thank you page right now. Thank you. Actually, let's make it thank you page. Here we go. Copy, copy, paste, save. You don't, you do not need to create a page for the checkout. This is different from most builders. You create the pages separately. You edit the pages separately and you edit all the website settings separately over here in the left hand side of your editor. Now you can edit your pop-ups, you can edit your checkouts, connect domain transfer and so on right here in the left side of your editor. Now let's go to the main page, the home page, and click on edit. You can see it's gonna load a blank website. And the first thing that you need to do is add a panel. Go to add, go to panels, and choose your first fold and just click on it. Boom, it's over there. Uh, one of the things that I recommend when you're building a website is have a competitor's website next to yours in a different tab, not to copy, but just get a few ideas and just follow the blueprint and see what works. You know, you're starting out. You don't necessarily have to create everything from your, from your brain. You can use a competitor's website to see what is working for them and build it for your clients. In my case, I'm going to be looking at this website right here. I have all the images in my editor because when I was building it, I had to upload the images. So what I recommend you do is go to your competitor's website, look at the images that they have, look at the colors, try to download all the images or try Try to get a designer to build the images for you before building your website because you're going to see how fast this process is. I added my first panel. The first thing that I'm going to do is click on the panel. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where, just click anywhere on the panel. You can see the panel selected because it is right here. So go to background change image and you're going to see all the images that is inside your account. Now I'm going to look for the same background as this one or a similar one. Okay. This one right here. So click on it, scroll down, click on save. Boom. The background already changed. Now I want to make this a little bit bigger. So select it, click on size or actually minimum size. And let's make it about this big right here. So I'll keep the video. I'll just get it out of my way. I'm going to keep this element, this text right here and get rid of this box right here. So get rid of that. Ah, oh, man, I should have kept the button. Okay. Good. Get rid of this. Boom. Gonna centralize all of this. You can do it by just clicking on it and just click on the element. You see this icon right here? This is a center element icon. Click on it and it's gonna centralize it for you automatically. This is a different font, but it doesn't matter. Right now, it truly doesn't matter. Make it bigger, put it in the center. This one, in my opinion, looks good. We'll centralize this one, make it a little bit bigger. Again, centralize it. Boom. As you can see, it looks, it looks pretty close. And in my opinion, it looks pretty good. What we have to do now is get the button. So for the button, we'll go to add elements button, choose any button. Oh, we use this one right here. I, I like the rounded corners better. It just, it just, in my opinion, it makes it look better. Uh, we'll centralize it. Now the green is a little bit different. This is more of a pale green. So I want to change the color, click on the element, go to background. The color, this is probably, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Uh, let's copy this one, go to this one and paste. Now we have to change the text. So go to headline, the color will make it white and we'll make it a little bit bigger. We'll change the headline to start course. Click on it again, headline, start course. Let's change this font. I think this is a lot of light. 
Yes, this is the font. Now, let me get the link of the YouTube channel. Copy, click on the video, general settings, and paste. Boom, okay, let's see. Preview. <laughs> It's starting automatically and I don't want to do that because I don't like it. So we'll click on it again. We'll click do not autoplay. Save. That's fine. And we'll go to preview again. And boom, dude, tell me, it looks exactly like it. Except this, this font right here, but I like this font better. Did you see how fast I built this? It was so freaking fast. Okay, we'll keep going. So now the second thing is this banner right here. All right, this is this is gonna take some time, but I'll do it. Okay, so uh, let's go to panels. We'll add another panel. Hopefully they have a panel with the same sort of color. Uh, we'll add this one, whatever. It's the same color panel as this one, I think. Ah, no, never mind. This one has an image. Click on the panel. Get rid of the image and just just leave just leave this color right here. The color of the website. We don't need to upload an image. We can just use a color because this is one straight color. You can just leave the color in. Now let me make the size a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think this should be actually a little bit bigger than this. So text fast and straight to the point. This will be the text. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. Okay, get rid of this one. Okay, cool. So we have the text. We don't need to change the, te the text right now. I just want to build the box. It it's a box with a shadow. It is an icon, text, and another button. Pretty simple. We'll go to add elements. Look for box, 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 box. There we go. This one looks perfect in my opinion. We'll drag, drop, boom. It already looks like the box we see over there. Yeah, it looks, it looks okay. It looks like exactly like that one. Now what we have to do is add elements, image, image, there we go. And now click on the image, go to general settings, change the image, look for the icons that you want to upload. Let me see this one, Facebook, Facebook. You see why we need the images and the icons first. It just makes the process so much easier. Now, Make it smaller, put it over here. Now we have a text to put inside the box. So add elements, text, the smallest one, less than one, why Facebook ads? This one, why Facebook ads? Select the size, make it what, 15. The font will make it a lot of white. And this is bolded. So just bold it and make it a little bit bigger, like 20, maybe 22 maybe 24 and now the only thing we got to do is add a button now we can just go from this button just copy and boom there we go make it a little bit smaller very nice okay now what i want to do is put this in the middle and then centralize everything by putting everything in the middle this is just one of the strategies that i use make everything very very aligned so let's do that one more time make everything aligned in the box Okay, so now we built a box and the box looks really, really similar to this one. In my opinion, you can barely tell the difference. Now let's stay, save the website one more time. Remember, you gotta keep saving the website. Awesome, okay, so we saved the website. Let's look at the preview. Okay, looks pretty good. All right guys, so let's continue building the website. Let me go back to the editor, there we go. Now what I do is select the box and just copy the box. Boom, centralize this one. Based on that one, we'll align these. Looks amazing. I wanna change the color of this text. I think this is the color, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same color, but it's Lato light. And it's in the middle. So let's centralize that again. Okay, now what you would normally do, of course, the reason I'm not gonna do this is because this tutorial is gonna get really, really long. Just click on the icon, go to change image and choose another icon. So for example, this one, click on the icon and click on save and change the text over here and connect all the buttons. Now, like I said, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to make this tutorial super, super long. I just want to give you a general idea of how you can build a beautiful modern uh, website. So after this part right here, we have another banner with these images. So Going back, make this banner small, just so you guys can have a general idea of how this will look like. Now we can add a new panel. Uh, we can add this one, it doesn't matter. Boom, 
Now we're going to copy this part right here. So let me get rid of the video. Let me get rid of let me get rid of everything basically and make it a little bit bigger general settings okay so background which is the color is a little bit like more of on the white or so actually gray color like this color right here yeah so let me get rid of the text erase that erase the text erase the box or delete the box okay so over here we'll go to add elements First thing we need to do is add a image. So let, let, help me find images because I always seem to forget where the images are, but I found it. So we'll drag, drop the image. It's on the right. It's on the right. Okay. So image selected, change image. Um, these are the, uh, no, this, you see, this is not a PNG. I can see there is a little bit of white. So we'll choose the PNG image. We'll add it on the website, make it smaller, add over here. And we have another image with the computer version. So we'll duplicate this image, image selected, change image. So we have to find this image right here. We already found it, make it a little bit bigger. And actually I think it's about this big. Boom, all right, cool. Now we add a button, looks about right. We'll add a title. We can just drag and drop it right here and another subheadline. So we have the title in this banner, we have the subheadline, and we have the button. Now what you have to do is simple, just change the text. You know how to do that. I'm not gonna do this because I don't wanna waste time. Now the rest of the website is the same process. What you're doing is adding panels, adding images, changing the image, adding text, adding button, and changing the text. It's the same process throughout the whole entire website. Instead of doing the whole website, I'll stop right here and do the next page because I want to show you a few tricks. The next page is the thank you page. Now, as we saw, the thank, this is the thank you page we want to copy. The thank you page that we see over here is very similar to the banner or, or the first panel in the website. Now, what we can do to save us some time is get this banner right here and then go scroll all the way down to where you see advanced settings and we're going to save this as our personal element so let me let me name this facebook ads panel and save it as our personal element now that it's saved you want to make sure we save the website so we'll save the website or we'll save the page click on that's fine now we can exit out and edit the thank you page. Now, instead of doing the whole process of adding a banner and then changing the image and then changing the text and then changing everything, we, instead of adding a panel, we can go to personal panels, scroll all the way down to where you see Facebook ads panel and click on it. And as you can see, it brings the same panel as we had on the other page. It's a much easier process where we just got to delete the video and just change the text. Thank you. And then the button will go and just add an action to the other page or to the next step. Now you can do this as a funnel. Funnels are basically the same thing. If you're building a funnel for your client, you build the individual pages and then you connect the pages with each other through using the links and the buttons. Now, let me get out of here. Now, this is it for this lesson. And if there's one thing that I want you to remember from this lesson is that when building websites, make sure you have the structure and make sure you have the images done before building the website or choosing a templates because the templates that we have in Builder all are incredible. They look amazing. I've seen, I think all of them, I've worked very close to the designers to build the templates, they are amazing. And you're not gonna regret using the templates. And we not only have templates for websites, but we also have templates for sales funnels. If you get a client and you need to build a sales funnel, you can also use the templates. We have templates for members areas. We have templates for basically anything that you need. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in lesson three. Bye-bye.